pause the recording and then we'll... okay guys part two of the situation we're gonna finish this video from part one first and then we're gonna pause the recording and go find an archive channel so we could show you know ways to be stuff like this could possibly be prevented true like we're gonna dig a little bit deep we might even go to the way back machine who knows at this point, the way back machine is probably our best bet. Sure, anyways, keep on going. To receive a ton of backlash alongside a like ratio of less than 50%, leading Philip DeFranco to once they should. discuss the family, bringing exactly. widespread attention to the video. And so there was a range of anger. Some people saying this is outright abuse of your children. Others saying this is not abuse, but these are asshole parents. Oh, it's so laggy. Money and hurting them emotionally. And then it also appears it happens is that they have a dedicated audience that are completely fine with this. After a bunch of other YouTubers would go on to make their own videos discussing the prank, Daddy05 would respond with a video simply titled Blocking All the Haters, in which they would acknowledge the criticism. I'm getting all kinds of hate right now Daddy -O -R on all my social medias and on one of my videos called the invisible ink prank following this they'd go on to ask Cody and Alex if they had been traumatized by the prank. The prank was done on Alex and Cody. Was anybody by the way, this is just a Dutch Brothers pineapple meeting. Traumatized. No! Are you guys okay? Yeah, no. Yeah. Are you upset? No. It's just a prank. It's just a prank. Before the mother oh, would go on to state that, that the real problem It sounds like such a lie. Like, the thing is, to block out trauma, you lie a lot. And, well, if once you lie a lot, you get used to it. True. Like, the thing is that if you start, like... It's a way to block out trauma, based off what I know. Yeah. And I found the archive channel. You found the archive channel? All right, show it after we finish this, okay? All right. Like, like after it's, we just called Daddy -O -R it's just called Daddy-O Archive, guys. But, like... Ghost Watch Night Vision in Basement Gym? All right, before we continue with this, I have to bring up an old popular YouTube channel. You remember all those old fake ghost hunting videos? Like, Remember those Chad Wild Clay, like, Project Zorgo videos? I don't know what was up with those. Mm -hmm. It was just a weird point in YouTube. I'm sorry. I, the, we're doing, like, we're mentioning stuff from a weird part of YouTube. Exactly. So, yeah. Let's yeah. continue with this, and then we're finally going to go into depth of yeah. what, like, their, you know, pranks are. Exactly. I even so found the blocking all the haters video. True. Haters, you are the ones that give our children Alex problems. terrorizes you are the one that Cody. Us problems. You are the one that try to embarrass us. However, this video only seems no, to bring more attention. You to guys it. are the ones that cause the children mental issues. Exactly. Like I think they're like really like they're gonna get heavily punished if they don't do the videos or something. Like, like the thing is, once you have enough mental abuse or like trauma going on. Once the kids start lying, saying they're okay, but in inside they're really not, which yeah. I could tell by how the kids are acting in the blocking all the haters video, I could tell that they're pretending to be okay, even though there's a lot of mental trauma and they're the parents are just saying just act this way, even though you know you're mentally scarred for life. Yeah, we're gonna watch the blocking all the haters video. And we, like, I know what lying is when it comes to trauma. Yeah. It usually just happens because I have a lot of mental breakdowns mm. pretty often when it comes to school. Yeah. So... Let's keep it going with it. The original prank, leading more YouTubers to talk about it. After a couple of days had passed, Daddy05 would cave in by uploading an apology video. Right now, we are under severe attack by all kinds wow. of people. By this the Franco guy. He made a video about us just steamrolling us. He never contacted me or anything. And everyone is jumping on this hate wagon. Everyone is jumping on this this witch hunt in which they would try and convince the audience that all the pranks had been fake also and also just a random thing what the heck is wrong with his nose up here not gonna lie a lot of people have that it's probably just a genetic thing uh that looks a little strange Karen, so do you put your face like this sometimes they're visible mm. wow fake and over exaggerating like how can you call that fake and over those fake and over exaggerating pranks? Yeah. But in reality, I could tell, we could both tell when it's acting, very good acting, 
or kids' literal freaking reactions from exactly. having this happen to them. Like, the thing is, we're just trying to, you know, we're not trying to reignite the situation. Exactly. We're just trying to show that these people are wrong. Exactly. We forgot to do this with the first video we made on Daddy 05. So now we're finally doing it. We're going to bring light to the situation. Exactly. Some videos are scripted. Like a lot of the me. in-depth stuff that wasn't mentioned in, in any of the hate videos. They didn't go fully in-depth, but we're doing that. We're doing that. Four, five years later, we're doing it. We don't care. Exactly. If we get this, these two videos taken down, we'll just go we'll just go to our Twitch, make a VOD, and make a VOD's account. Yeah. I mean, if this is up on YouTube, then this, then this will probably go up on YouTube. They're just played out. The, the kids' if ideas. Both videos. Act them okay, so the thing is, guys, I say we start a series exposing YouTubers for that have families and how much trauma they're putting through, like Norris Nuts and Daddy05. Exactly. Those, those channels need like stuff we know we're doing the daddy 05 stuff right now we're gonna go in depth but the norris nut stuff and the other families like that that make children feel really bad i think i'm gonna have to call in my sister because she knows a lot about the subject so yeah true it's not going on my family we just go in depth we both go in depth about a lot of stuff so we can probably bring some light to situations that are you know traumatic for children yeah because we're, we're really still like I'm 14. He's about I'm 13, turning 14 in about about three weeks from now. Three yeah, exactly three. three weeks from now. Well, it's actually going to be less. It's the it's the seventh. 21 days from now is my birthday. Talking about when this gets uploaded. Yeah, right. it'll be 10. So I, oh. it's on the 28th though. I know it's going to be mine. We're yeah. still legally a child, children. Yeah, and anyone younger than us should still not even be put or even like ever should be put through trauma exactly like the children from Daddy 05 are. Exactly. That's just My the wrong raised- type of thing to put a child through. Exactly. As many suspicions as in the yeah, interview with came star, this right now, stay- they know I act my parents know I'm a very caring person, but if they know what I'm doing right now. They'll understand why I'm using such full, like swearing a lot. Because these uh, parents suck. Like these, this is a very serious situation. Like I feel super bad for the kids in this situation. Like Daddy 05 and the mom too. They're terrible. Like, how they're do terrible I put this? People. Why would you put your child through all that and they're they're literally just children? Because you're supposed when to we're going in ready. depth about stuff. I feel like we're turning, even though we might we're doing this for a good reason. I feel like we're becoming like Anthony Padilla, like doing the, I spent a day with the videos, but I love Anthony Padilla. I love what he does, help people get through stuff. We're doing, we want to do that too. But on, even though we're a smaller channel, like a really small channel, we want to do it to help people. We just want to help. True. In any way possible. And if I was able to start charity, I, I love start charity, just to start charity, have y'all donate to end child abuse. And animal abuse too, too. So yeah. That the videos were exaggerated, but real. Are these videos a hundred percent real? Like guys, I mean, is is it? I say that Mars Seven is getting close to an activism account right now. Yeah. And we'll do a series, not for views. We want to help, but all I gotta say is, if we ever start charity, like I'm not like for activism, PETA. I understand what they're trying to do, but they're doing. Like, this is just an example of the wrong type of activism, PETA. Yeah. Forcing people to get rid of their pets they care so much for. Yeah, that's all too far. Is it 100% real, or are you guys putting on a show like McJugger Nuggets or Kid Behind the Camera? The videos, we're not fake, but some things are a little exaggerated. This discrepancy led Daddy05 to be interviewed on Good guys? Morning America. I found the ABC News story on that they're showing right now. Wow. Uh, we're going to have to show you guys this. Once America, this where the legitimacy of yeah. the videos was put into question on national television. You're not suggesting that your kids and the crying and the sobbing and... 
either way, it's still bad. Even if you're faking it, it's a bad influence still. I think they're in Baltimore, Maryland. They take they're somewhere in Maryland. Oh. Uh, okay. That emotion we see was not real, are you? Um not every single time. Some of it was acted. Now that there were even more eyes on the family, Daddy 5 would upload a more polished second apology in which they would state that they were now in family counseling. We are now in family counseling because we need it. Um, it's probably not going not well. Not only to get through. Probably didn't go well. Yeah. Because the guys, like... the thing is, so the thing is that I want to do what Anthony, I like, my goal in life is to do what Anthony Padilla does get popular on YouTube and help people that are trying to go through a good time. Like people that are ex cult members that try to escape from the cult at a young age, but failed. So they had to leave at older age because well, they didn't agree with the beliefs. Like how I put this, like I realize the Amish want to stick to like the old ways and believe in God. I'm an atheist, but when I hear something that sounds like a cult and very, you know, a little harmful and sexist and racist, maybe. I, I'm not for sexism or racism. Exactly. So, I want to basically do what Anthony Padilla does now and help the community by trying to help get rid of trauma exactly. in children's lives. Exactly. Like all that stuff is just like really messed up. That's what Dario Five is doing. Yeah. Very messed up. Okay. Inside edition. No screw. Screw reacting to this video. I'm gonna say this. This is an inside edition video. Dad who pranked their kids. We got got carried away in the moment. Uh, I was giving children trauma, getting carried away in the still, moment. It doesn't matter because they're obviously the trauma has in their kids still. Anyway, let's give them one. The you know me might show the inside edition story on this. Who knows that? Media stuff, but we we needed to come back together and have everybody, even the kids, to understand what we did wrong. This has been the absolute worst week of our life and we realized that we have made some terrible parenting decisions. Although the exactly. worst was certainly still yet to come. Yeah, they made terrible parenting decisions. Calm. Terrible Only decisions to give kids trauma. Exactly. And that's very unforgivable. Once you give kids trauma, it can't be taken. You can't take away the trauma from a kid's life. Exactly. It's stuck with them. Yeah, it will haunt them for the rest of their lives, and I never want that to happen to anyone. Exactly, same here. No. Ten days after having interviewed Daniel, that's why, guys. Preview. If you lived, if if you know what was going on in like fall last year about the shooting at a very close by high school to where I was going to, I I'm I was in middle school the entire last school year, and. If you knew about the Timberview High School shoot, if you know about the Timberview High School shooting, I really want to just put a wit. I know the person's behind bars, but the thing is, I'm just an advocate for no, I'm an advocate for no school shootings because even someone that's very close to being an adult should not go through that type of trauma of, a school, shooting, well, like just... of a school shooting, a very mass shooting, or just war in general. I, I'm not for that. I don't want to give, I just don't want anyone to go through what some stuff is happening sure. right now. Oh, Holy shit. Is that Christian? Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to go on my phone and we're going to introduce him to the video. Here, I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm going to go on too. Christian? We're introducing someone to the video, guys. Hey, Christian, we're on the YouTube video right now. We're on a YouTube video right now. Yeah, we're making a video about we're making a video about it. Uh, a YouTube channel that went to guys. We're doing a video about a YouTube channel. We're introducing our friend Christian to the video. We are doing a video on a YouTube family. The parents went too far, and we're just making sure we're showing what's going on. And well, make it. It's a rant. True. We have Christian hasn't been on the video in a while though. So yeah, I've just been busy all summer to talk. Yeah. But yeah. This hey. is gonna be a hard, this is gonna be a long video. 
This is going to turn into a four-part series. Who cares? We want to make sure no kids have trauma. Exactly. Oh, I see it. Nice. Okay. Uh, this will continue. Oh, Christian, do you have Zoom? Hi, Chance. Hey, Marshall, can you pause the recording for a second? Yeah, sure, sure. We'll be back in a second. Fine. All right, so sorry about that. Uh, we're having a little bit of trouble getting Christian on the video. He's on Discord still, but... Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I'll just be on Discord with Christian. Let's just uh, pick, finish this video real quick. This bit of controversy. Keemstar would upload a new video titled... And then we'll go on to arrested, showing the RT explains that the okay, police guys? were now attempting to investigate the parents. More information has come out about the Daddy 5 situation. Apparently, the police are investigating them. An article came out saying that the Baltimore County Police Department Ooh, were investigating... There you go, there you go. There you go, Jackie. That's confirmed. He lives in... They live in Maryland. I'm just, hey, guys, I'm going to screenshot this. Boom. Okay, cool. screen job. I'm finding the videos and understanding which Yeah, Christian, this is a very serious video. Crimes took place in. Yet it wasn't only the police who were in Yeah, we're filming right now. It's a very serious. It was revealed yeah. that the courts were also looking into the family. The biological mother of both Cody and Emma used the media attention to claim emergency custody back over her two children, meaning that they were now out of Mike and Heather's family. Emma and Cody are with me. I have emergency custody. They're doing good. They're getting back to their playful selves. Four months later in September 2017, an article will be published by Good Housekeeping titled Update, YouTube Pranking Parents Sentenced for Child Neglect, in which it was written, YouTube channel Daddy05 have been sentenced to five years probation for two counts of child neglect each. Oh, also, any okay social guys, media we have something to talk about kids is Child neglect. They got put on probation for five years because of two counts of child neglect this okay just think of my rant from part one but make it diff just link it into this it's the same thing mm. prohibited unless it is for legitimate family purposes by the way if you haven't already go check out part one and you'll really get the gist of this video yeah however by part this one point, was the... what i consider guys the rant part because well, it, it's mostly a rant because I had a lot of feelings to get out there. Yeah. Drama was already in the past, and the family minus Cody and Emma were back to posting videos under the slightly altered name Family 05. Yet, this didn't sit well with YouTube, and in July 2018, their channel Family 05 would be terminated permanently. In a state of panic, the family would launch their own website on which they'd post vlogs behind a $5 per month payment wall. Yet, after only six I'm not paying wait, wait, family wait, wait, that wait, wait. Not, I, I, I gotta find this. I gotta find this. I'm not paying a family that ch abuses their children and, and by the children aren't gonna get any money. Oh my gosh. I know, right, Christian? It's crazy. This has been happening for so long. Okay, I found the entire Wikipedia page. So, All right, show after the video. Get your links ready because it's about to end. Six months of posting. Like after the video we're watching website then wipe every video from it stating in order to move on with the healing process from the 2017 events, i found it agreed willingly to i found the website videos. interesting let's keep on going even from this site, the martin for the family oh wow and well-being okay. sorry family, i have to turn Mike my, my art system will look weird the entire video True. feel it is best that we take a long break from the public spotlight. The family would return to YouTube under the Martin family in 2019, which is still active up until this day. Although Whoa! Jack, go search the stuff. Looking through the okay. comments uh, on let me videos, open a new tab. it's safe to say that the damage done to their reputation will never be repaired. So we're going to have to get rid of the immersive... Okay, so Marshall, get rid of the immersive background. I'm doing this all the research on my iPad right now. All right. Okay. So. Oh, I'm going to put the camera downwards. Down here. Here, let me I'll turn off immersive view real quick. Yeah, turn it off so I'm able to show. There we go. Okay. Okay, guys. So, basically... This is the YouTube channel, The Martin Family. The latest post was about two months ago. It, my wife tore her ACL. Then it was, Dad destroyed my car. Uh, what else? 
So, what the hell? Okay, uh, I'm good. I'm gonna have to turn my camera on Discord for this. Okay, guys, we're going vlogs now. I'm turning off my camera and we're going vlog stuff for this one. Yeah. Oops. GTA 5 online. GTA 5 for sure. This is a YouTube channel that is uh, from this YouTube channel called Daddy 5 They went too far with pranks and child neglect. But yeah, ladies and don't follow them. And also, I found their website. Mm. Wait. Oh, they have TikToks? No way. Okay, guys, I think we have something to do. I'm going to go. Okay, guys, I'm going to pause my video on Discord. Marshall, pause the recording. Then I'll, we'll check back in when I find the TikToks. Oh, Marshall, you're going to have to give me screen share permissions. Oh, yeah, sure. Hold on. Turn your video back on, Zoom. Oh, yeah. Okay, you're good. Okay, one second, guys. Okay, guys, uh, we got it. Mm. Okay, I got the first account. Sorry. Oh, my God. Yeah. We got the first one. One second, I start with it. Wow. There's the first one. Wow. What assholes. Okay. These people are assholes. Exactly. Like, what the f whenever, there's, whenever there's warnings on those videos, that means it's bad. Oh, should we watch a warning video then? No, 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 no. no. Florida 22. No one's getting hurt, right? <laughs> Actually, okay, wait, never yeah, mind. Yeah, I don't want to get this video taken down. All right, there you, go. there you go. Uh, we'll do some more research. About wait, there's that. two oh. more TikTok accounts. Jeez, how many? Uh... Okay, uh, there's yeah, one of them. Wait, wait. There's a Family Feud one, but we're not gonna watch it. I'll save that for it. Then there's. So I'm just copy this. Guys, one last account before we end the video. This this is now a series. We're gonna expose bad YouTube families. One video. And you see the same exact mic as me. Yep. Yeah, guys, that's it for the saga of Daddy 05. Next, we're probably going to end up going into the realm of families that oh. neglect children because of YouTube challenges. Hmm. Because they think it's fun. Exactly. Anyways, y'all, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like Please and subscribe. Like subscribe. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. And goodbye. Spread awareness about the situation because we need to end child abuse. See y'all next one. Peace.